Hey everyone, in today's Adobe Premiere video, I wanna show you an easy way to add titles to your video project. And I wanna show you two different ways. My favorite way of using templates, you get really high-end stuff real fast. And then I'll show you the manual way, just using the text tool and creating a title opening. So there's a couple of different ways you could go about creating a title here for your video. The one I prefer is just by using templates like this, where I could just jump in and change the text and the color and then I'll show you the manual way. So this way, basically there are websites like this one, Invito Elements. I'll put a link below in the description that brings you to this page where you could basically download titles for Adobe Premiere and there are a ton of different ones. So you could just explore and if you see one that you like, simply download it and it's fully licensed. And this basically gives you access to all of this for one monthly price and you get stock music, stock video, sound effects, graphics, all kinds of stuff for one price. I use this for pretty much everything I do in Adobe Premiere. Then you come over here, you go to the graphics tab, and then you just add, if you go to the browse tab, just down here, you press the plus sign and install your motion graphics template. I have videos showing how to do that. It's pretty straightforward. They're just called Mogurt files. And then they appear like this and you just grab them from here put it down into your timeline, click on it, and change the text to whatever text you want, and that's it. And if you wanted to change the color, you'll do that down here as well. And they all let you change the text, font, and all kinds of stuff, okay? So that's one way to go about it, is just by going to the graphics panel, go to browse, install the template, and use any one of these templates. As you can see, I have ton of different templates because this is my favorite way to go. It saves a ton of time and well worth the monthly price I pay for in bottle. The other way to go about creating a title is all I had to do is just move my footage over so I could create about a five seconds. So let me go to the five second mark here. I'll bring my video at the starting point. And let's say this five second was gonna be the title. So to create a title here from scratch, all I have to do is go to file new and I'll create a black video. That's gonna be my background. If you want a color one, just create a color mat and then select that as your video. I'll press okay. There is my black video in my folder. I'll grab it and bring it to this five seconds. Okay, make sure this gap is closed. So I have a black video as my background. And then on top of it, all I have to do is create text. So I'm gonna press T or choose the text tool right here, type my text, so I'm gonna click and type. Let's say this is the name of the production company. I could select it all, and as long as I'm on the graphics panel, go to the graphics panel here, so you could easily see all the options like changing the fonts. So I'll go ahead and change the font here. This is one of my favorite fonts, but even a font like Arial is not bad for this kind of thing, Arial bold, and I'll make it all cap, okay? Then you would increase the size to something really prominent. Actually, let me just use that other font I like better. Let's try that. There we go. So this will show up right here in the middle and you have ton of options. So you could go ahead and change it however you like, make it whatever size you want. Okay, so then I'll go ahead and select this again and I'll just go ahead and move it in the center. Now I'll select the T here let me just take this off so it's in all caps. I like that better. I'll move it right in the middle here. You do have options for aligning vertical center and horizontal center if you don't wanna use these options here to move it. This puts it exactly in the middle, right? Then the next thing we wanna do is I'm gonna actually bring this on. So it starts with black video, then it goes into it. And then I'll go ahead and click here and right click and add just a transition to dissolve in. So now it looks like this, nice dissolve. I can make it a little bit longer. Okay, something like that, you could do that and then click at the end and dissolve out. Okay, so then I'll go from here, I'll dissolve out and it'll go to our video. Now, if you hold Option or Alt and drag this clip up, it will duplicate it so you can select this other clip and click on text over here and change it. Okay, so let me go ahead and make that one say Presents. Okay, that's gonna say Presents and then I could actually move it to the middle and bring it down and I'll select it all and let's shrink it down. Okay, so you could put 
that somewhere over here. Then if you want to bring the other one up, I'll select it, I'll bring it up. Okay, so then we could move things around. So this is just kind of based on your taste. Now let's press play. Okay, so you get something like this. This is doing it the manual way, but this is why I prefer the other way because it's just much, much easier just to grab it from here, put it over here, and resize it if I need to, and I get much cooler and more interesting designs this way. And if I was to do this manually, it would just take me far too long. It's just not worth manually doing all that. And a lot of it requires After Effects too for more text animation. But this is how you create a title sequence or a title opener for your video. I hope you found this video useful. Please give it a thumbs up and I will see you next time.